A sequence is simply a set of numbers in a particular order or a set of numbers which follow a pattern. The most basic example of a sequence is that of counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. The numbers follow an increasing pattern. The three dots mean the list goes on forever and are referred to as the ellipsis. The numbers don't necessarily have to be continuous to be a sequence. A list like 0, 5, 10, 15 and so on are also said to be in a sequence. What's the pattern here? Every number is increased by 5 to get the next number. A constant increment of 5. Let's take an example of a sequence which has an increment of 2. Like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. For your exams, there are just two things you need to know about any sequence. First, how do you find the nth term of a sequence? And second, how do you define the sequence? What do I mean when I say the nth term? Say I ask you the 31st term of the sequence. You have no time to write all the 31 terms to find that out. We need to have a formula and yes, we have one. It is the first term plus n minus 1 times d. ft is the first term. n is the term number. So if we want to find the 31st term, we just substitute 31 in place of n. And d is called the difference between any two continuous terms. It's called the common difference. It's extremely simple to derive this formula, but you don't really need to know it for your exams. So don't dwell too much over it. In this example, as the first term is 1 and the common difference is 2, the nth term will be 1 plus n minus 1 times 2. How do we define a particular sequence? We just solve this further. Expanding this gives us 2n minus 2 and we add the 1. This gives us 2n minus 1. Here, n takes the value of all natural numbers. Don't forget, n is the term number. If we call this sequence s, the first term of the sequence will be written as s1. To find the first term, all we do is substitute 1 in place of n. We get 2 times 1 minus 1. And 2 minus 1 gives us 1. Now with this formula, try finding the 9th and the 21st term of the sequence. The 9th term will be 2 times 9 minus 1 which equals 17. And the 21st term will be 2 times 21 minus 1 which equals 41. 41 is the 21st term of the sequence. So to define the sequence, we just use the nth term formula and substitute the values of the first term and the common difference. We will look at a couple of sequence examples in the next part of the session.